Hello everyone, welcome to Booksy. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a simple and yet effective heart monitoring system using Arduino and Flash. So this project will help you to monitor your heart beat rates and your body temperature like the coldness and the hotness of your body in real time using web interface. If you are new here or you haven't, make sure you hit this subscribe button buttons and ring this bell app so that you will never miss out any of my tutorials and my project let's dive into it this project is perfect for anyone looking to combine hardware and software skill whether you are a beginner or you have some experience you will find this tutorial informative and fun let's dive into it my friend first let's go over the component we will need for this project, we will need Arduino board, we will need temperature sensor, we will need heartbeat monitoring sensor. Of course, we will need a computer to run our Flash server. All these components will be connected to the Arduino, which will send the data to the computer via serial connection. Let's start connecting the sensors to the Arduino. These are the two sensors that we are going to use. And I'm bringing Arduino Uno. So these are the two sensors that we are going to use to this project. Now I am connecting the power pins. I connect these two power pins together. Positive to this one, negative to you know them. So they all share the same voltage. Now I will extend their power connection to the Arduino. After the extension of the wire, now we are going to connect the data pins. Connect the heartbeat sensor to the analog pin input zero and connect the temperature sensor to the analog pin one. Now the wiring is done. So this is the entire connections of the entire wiring, what we are going to do in this project. Very simple. Next, we are going to upload this simple sketch to the Arduino to read the sensor data and send it over through the serial connections. That's all. I am going to the exciting part, the software part. Who is ready? Now I will go to my Arduino IDE. Click my Arduino IDE. So now it is loading. Okay, when it's done, you will see the interface of the Arduino IDE. This is the small interface. Now let me zoom it. So this is the interface of the Arduino IDE. This is what we are going to see. These are the codes that I am using. So you can read the codes. I will leave the codes in the link description below. Like if you want to try this, if you want to try the projects. Okay, now I am uploading the code as you can see. Look, I am having some errors. You understand? So the code is already uploaded in the Arduino. I am going to the serial monitor to see all the data that are transferring from the sensors to the screen here right now as you can see these are the data that are transferring to the serial to the serial connections to the serial monitor so these are the data that are coming from the temperature sensor and the heartbeat sensor so these are the data as we can see as you can see if i touch the heartbeat sensor the number reduce from 1000 to 900 if i touch temperature sensor the number also increase as you can see in. so the numbers are increasing increasing because of the room temp now as you can see the arduino serial transferring is working okay. now we are going to the next step gui what is gui graphical user interface in python using the framework called flash to give us the server web server and we are going to use html css for graphical user interface javascript to connect with the flash to the python do you understand these connections let's go you see it bro now let's open the visual studio code okay click okay let me delete this second one this small one let me delete it okay I delete that one so this is the entire code for python as you can see right now Okay, I will mark the first two code lines. Those are to import libraries. These are libraries that we are going to import. In this line, to transfer data from Arduino to the Python through the serial connection. 
In this code, we are going to run the Flash app to the HTML and CSS. This is the function to check if the data are available. Now, these are the condition line to take a condition through these data, how they are going to transmit, you know, through the entire code, as you can see. In here, we are going to return those values to give us the server. Now, we are going to HTML and CSS code. So, this is the HTML and CSS code. I don't need to explain that one too much. So, you can just look at the code and understand. Okay, if you don't understand, you just comment down below. I will do like an, like a full video for HTML and CSS. Maybe I will create a course for it in HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So, if you are interested, just comment down below. I am interested to learn HTML and CSS. I will do a course for that, you know. So, thank you so much for understanding the code. The code will be linked in the description below. So now what is left there now? I am going to run the code from Python. Okay. So now I'm going to put my file names here so that I can able to run this code. Okay. Now I put my file name. Okay. So I'm looking my file name right now. Okay so still i'm looking my file name because this this is a lin um linux this is a terminal so whatever you put it there like you know so i'm i'm checking it you know because i have been working on it um since you know you understand so i'm checking it that's why i'm doing all this so i found it already now let me paste it okay let me click it okay so this is it now you can see this is the entire host place where like you will find the host to the website so uh, you, you you are going to like copy this url and uh, paste it in the in the browser whatever browser you are using you can paste it there now i'm using chrome okay so click so you can see now you can see the web interface of everything now you can see the web interface now you can see the temperature now you can see the heartbeat okay so these are the numbers as you can see the numbers are changing in real time okay the numbers are changing in real time as you can see so let me just um let me just make everything perfect right now it seems i'm facing some troubles maybe it is the connection so let me refresh the page and see maybe it is a uh, connection or something you can see so my by doing this i face a lot of problems as you can see now the connection went so i have to go and look at the codes what is going on okay so let me just go and look at the code what is going on right now okay so i was thinking uh it was a connections but i think it's it is not a connections you see now i'm plugging my router to see if it was a connection right Okay, so I plugged it out already. Still, if I refresh the page, I will have the same problem. Okay, so I go to my pattern code. Okay, you can see a lot of errors here. What I have, all these errors. So now I'm going to fix this error. Okay, now I will see what is the problem of this error right now. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Okay, let me clear everything okay just clear all the this things so i clear now let me put the um, this ones again so still i'm having error i think that would be a problem in the serial connections okay so is that what i'm going to check now i have to go back to my Arduino code and see if it is working well okay so let me go back to my Arduino codes and see if it is working okay so you see my arduino codes also has a problem you can see arduino codes have a problem that's why the connection was break you know the 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 communication between the python and uh an arduino so there's a problem so i have to refresh the arduino code i don't know where the problem was coming from so um, let me see where is the problem so i have to look at the problem very well now i'm trying to upload it upload the upload but it's not working like okay so um let me see where where is the problem where is the problem okay so i have to okay now the code works properly is because you see i changed my 
ports the time i change the ports now it works now let me clear everything now okay clear everything tap okay now everything clear now let me put my file name okay now it is working again as you can see now when you go to the web browser you will see the data will be changing in real time so let's go to the google com okay paste it on the url let me paste it on the url now as you can see okay my data will change in real time as you can the data are changing bro in real time the data are changing in real time so as you can see now if i touch it you can see now the data so it's because of the connections my connection is very slow but the data will be changing in the real time and you can use it even your phone like you can put the same url in your phone and you can be in anywhere in the world you will have access to this ones like you know because it's using true internet connections using flash server you know as far as your computer is having connections and you are in another part of the world also you are using connections so you will be accessing this data through the entire world so this is the graphical user interface of the temperature sensor as you can see like i demonstrate to you guys so okay okay now i have to put my hand on the sensors and see how the data are going to change that's what i'm going to do now okay now i put my hands on temperature sensor as you can see the data are changing you can see from 1000 to 900 right now so the data the data are not going to change like rapidly they will be changing maybe one or two would be changing in the data as you can see so they are not going to be like dramatic dramatically like from you know to drop down like this you know so it would be like maybe one would be reduced or two would be reduced and if you want like to sense it you have to put it maybe for a five minutes or two to three minutes for sensor to detect the data so that's how you are going to do you know if you put your hand it is not going to change like automatically that way so even it's going to change only one value or two value would be changing because your body temperature is not going like the temperature is not going like it doesn't work like ultrasonic center so this is uh for the uh for the graphical user interface the entire code would be in this the uh, description below you can download the the entire code so this is the admin and that's it you have just built your own hard monitoring system with arduino and flash this project is a great way to practice your skills and create something truly useful if you enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell icon thank you for watching i will see you in my next video